So there we have got another algebraic equation uh, concept that we need to focus with, uh, work out our equations as a typical exam question on question number three. So let's see what we are given. Question 3.1, solve for x. So this is what we are given on the first part, uh, 3.11. Uh, that is to solve for x7 minus 3x is equal to uh, 2x minus 3. And that is three marks for that. So depending with the way that you are going to solve, but I say that whenever you are given this condition where you have got the terms of x, separated another part of x on its own and also considering the constants we can collect the like terms when it is like that considering the terms of x to one side of the equation so collect like terms so we are going to collect uh, like terms in that case meaning to say the terms of x to the one side knowing that once the term or a number crosses the equal sign or jumps the equal sign, it changes their sign. So that will be minus 3x minus 2x. It was a positive. On this side, a minus. Let's take out uh, this other part, the 7. We can take it to the other side of the equation. It was a positive 7. So this side will be a minus 7. So that is minus 3 minus a 7. All right. Minus 3x minus 2x, these are like terms, and therefore you're going to obtain minus 5x, which is equal to minus 3, minus 7, which is a negative 10. From our multiplicative inverse, the multiplication simply divide by the number that is multiplied. So we are simply going to divide by a negative 5. So x was going to give us a positive 2. 10 divided by 5, uh, that is a 2. So you can also consider that way. So do revise as many questions so that you do understand uh, these basics. All right, 3.12, again, we are given. Uh, that is 10 minus 4 into the bracket of 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 into the bracket of 3 minus x. If you are given the brackets, whatever that you're given, consider the same way that you do work your algebraic expressions. Remember, concept of expansion of the brackets before you think of solving the equation. Solve, I mean, simplify the same part that you do on your expressions. Expanding of brackets, collecting of like terms, that part can play a role. All right. So then the minus four is the one that is to be distributed, to distribute everything here, the minus four. So it's negative four times two, which is negative eight X. Negative 4 multiplies a negative 1. That is going to be a positive 4. Negative, negative. So it multiplies everything. This is equal to, on the right-hand side, we also have a bracket. And the number just outside of the bracket is the minus 2. So distribute that into the bracket. Minus 2 times this 3. That is minus 6. Minus 2, it multiplies the minus x. That's a positive. Negative, negative. That's a positive 2x. All right, let's just simplify, collect like terms there on the left-hand side. We've got a 10 and a 4. 10 plus 4, that is 14. Minus 8x is equal to minus 6 plus 2x. So I want you to see something. Just after expanding of the brackets, a collecting of the like terms, this statement that we are seeing, this equation, I want you to say this from the first question. It is exactly the same presentation that we had here in the first question. Look, exactly what we had. You expanded the brackets, but after that, are you seeing a back to the normal part that we had of collecting of like terms again, where we need to take the terms with x to one side of the equation, constants to the other part of the equation. So you're still back to that concept. So they just want you to play around just revise more questions, just re a repetition here. So as you can see here, we're going to consider the numbers on their own, uh, the variables on their own. That is um, already on the left-hand side, there is a negative 8x there. So transpose the 2x, the moment it crosses or jumps the equal sign, changes the sign to a minus. It was a positive, so it's going to be a minus. 
This is equal to, already the minus six is on the right-hand side. What we are going to transpose is the 14 to the other side of the equation. If it was a positive 14, there it is going to be a negative 14. So we are back simplifying like terms. Minus 8, minus 2. That is a minus 10. So that's minus 10x, minus 6, minus 14 from your calculator. That's a negative uh, 20 that you are going to obtain. So if minus 10x is equal to minus 20, that's a product there. The multiplication opposite, divide by the number that is multiplying, divide by a negative 10, divide by a negative 10. So this will cancel and you have got a 10 uh, into a 20, which is a 2. So that is our X value there. Remember negative, negative cancels. So X was going to be a positive 2, just like that. So you see that uh, there is a need you also to revise your algebra. Those algebraic expressions, you still need the idea there. It's the simplification expansion of brackets. It's not from equations. It's from our normal algebraic expressions. But they play a role in solving of the equations now. All right. Another equation that was 3.13. We are given 3x minus 1 over a 2 is equal to a 4. Remember, I said uh, that we can consider, just to remove the 2 here, remember the concept of the multiplicative. Dividing by 2 means we can remove this 2 by multiplying by it. Since we are dividing, we can multiply by 2. The opposite of dividing, multiply. Remember, if it is 2x, you divide by 2. There you are dividing, so multiply by 2. But whatever that you do on the left-hand side must be done also on the right-hand side. So you multiply by 2 also. Or you can simply cross multiply. Remember, I talked about uh, the cross multiplication also. 4 over 1. You cross multiply like this. The 1 multiplies 3x minus 1 as it is. It remains as it is. The 2 multiplies the 4, which is 8. So you can also cross multiply, or you can consider this concept to remove this, multiply by its inverse. So this will cancel. You remain with 3x minus 1 equal to 4 times 2, which is 8. We are back. What are we having? A minus 1, which is affecting the part of x. So simply add it to the other side or jump this to the other side. It changes the sign. It was a minus. It's going to be a plus. Or you add a 1 here. You add a 1 there. It's up to you. So meaning to say 3x. Minus 1 plus 1, that's a 0. Or jump to the other side, it becomes a plus. 8 plus 1, which is 9. Multiplication, divide by the number that is multiplying, which is 3. So x is equal to what? 9 divided by 3, uh, which is a 3. You can also test this by substituting in place of x and see if you are in the right direction. So our x, the one that was going to satisfy this equation, was supposed to be a 3. All right, then we are given, in this case, a word problem, which is like a statement that we are given. We are given that Pop is five years older than Cairo. Their age is added up to 25. I talked about this type of a person, actually. Then we asked how old is Pop and Cairo. There we need both ages, both the one for Pop and one for, for Cairo. So we're given that Pop is five years old older than Cairo. So let's just say this is uh, Poppy's age. Let's just say it's X and Cairo's age is Y. Let's just say this is what we have. And we are given that Poppy's age is five years older. I said you can write it in two ways. You can write your age, Poppy's age to be equal to for it to be the same since it is five years older. You must add to Kairos edge. So that is y plus a 5. So that they will be equal. Because right now they are not equal. This one is older. So to be equal is either you're going to add that. Or you were supposed to subtract a 5 on Poppy's edge. So that you obtain a Kairos edge. Which is why it was up to you. Okay. Let's say this is what you have decided to do. You've got something like this because there are two letters, there are two edges, they are different. 
So another one is X, another one is Y. Their ages, this is the statement. Their ages in years added up to 25. That is the sum. In years, the, the sum, the age added up to, which if, we, if you take the age of Poppy and you also take the age of Cairo together, you add them, you must get a 25. So Poppy's age, it's X. Cairo's age, it's Y. We do not know their ages, but if we add their ages, we must get a 25. So the question is, how old is Pop and Cairo? What? How old? By finding X and finding Y, we have determined Poppy's age, Y, which is Cairo's age. So the question is, how can we solve this equation? Okay, this is it. We can take this as two different equations. That is X, which is equal to this. Remember, they are saying, guys, I want us to, to, to understand this statement. X is equal to Y plus 5. It means they are the same. These two, they are the same. So what if I take this X here, which is Y plus 5, I take it into this equation in place of this X here, where there is X, I substitute this. I put this as it is. Remember your substitution method. So you substitute that in place of X. So meaning if you substitute that in place of X here, it is going to be Y plus 5. Remember X and the X is equal to Y. So you take as it is Y plus 5. You put it in place of X. But there is a plus Y that we already have. So plus Y is equal to a 25. Why are we doing this? So that by the moment you substitute this X, which is in terms, which is written as Y there, you have formed an equation, as we can see, which is in terms of Y only. There is Y here. There is Y. We no longer have X and Y at the same time because we substituted. We didn't remove, like we are, we are subtracting, we are substituting what is equal to that X, but in terms of Y. So that's another way. Remember, I explained this uh, in the previous class and I said, I'm going to work out different ways that we need. So that's another way that you can work with. Let's see, collecting the like terms, the part of Y and Y we can add. This is 1Y plus 1Y. So 1 plus 1, that is 2Y plus a 5 is equal to 25. So you can solve by taking the 5 to the other side, transpose or take that to the other side. The moment it jumps the equal sign, remember I said it must change the sign. It was a positive, so it will be a minus. Or just subtract a 5 here. You also subtract a 5 on the other side of the equation. So you remain with the 2y equal to 25 minus a 5. 25 minus a 5, which is what? Which is a 20. So take note. So 2y is equal to 20. That's a multiplication. Divide. Multiplicative inverse. Divide by 2. So y is equal to what? 20 divided by 2. That's a 10. So remember, y represents Kairos edge. That's why. So meaning so we have got the edge there. What about uh, Poppy's age? Since we have got a statement, we have an equation of y age here. X is Y plus 5. What if we just substitute again, just like what we did previously, but we substitute now the numerical value of Y in place of Y, we substitute the exact number representing Y, which is what? A 10. So you put that 10 here in place of Y. So it's 10 plus a 5. So it's called substitution. As you can see, it's substitution. So X is going to be what? 10 plus 5, which is 15. So this means we have got the ages of these two. That is, remember, how old is Poppy's? So when you say X representing what? Poppy's age. So meaning to say, uh, in this case, uh, Poppy is 15 years. Remember, it is X. So that is 15 years old. And 
On the other hand, we have got Y there representing uh, Cairo's age. So meaning to say in terms of Cairo, in this case, uh, Cairo is 10 years old, meaning to say that's the age in terms of what you are given there. So that is 10 years old. So th th just like that. So you can actually solve by substituting these values one into another one into, until you get what you are given. So this one you take advantage y is equal. It can be written in terms of y. So I do not know how did you present your equations in the first place, but after solving, you must obtain these values, x being 15 and y being a 10, or these numbers 15 and 10 on your answer. So as you can see, that's your typical exam question. More to come from Maison African Motives till we meet again.